working. I know. And we're covered in mud. Win-win. Let's go. right behind us, so just play cool, all right? On three. One, two, three! <gasps> okay, guess they're not here then. Ah! You wish to see baby genius? Yes, Your Excellency. We were just wondering if we could have some giraffe milk. And what do you have for baby genius? Um, we brought pocket lint. Oh, pocket lint was so last month. Baby genius likes to laugh. Make baby laugh, you shall get your giraffe's milk. I got this. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting chicken. Interrupting chicken. <laughs> that was not funny, that was rude. You have insulted baby with your rude chicken. It's okay, I have a joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? What is with all the chickens? You two need to get out more. Oh, come on, that's a classic joke. Baby is leaving. Wait, no, 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 no. Ow! 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 He left! It was more of a giggle. But maybe if you do more. Uh, Woo! Oh, look at me falling down! Oh, oopsie! Yes, good. Now make silly noises when you fall. <laughs> Here is your giraffe milk. Four cups, but we need a quart. Calm down, chicken boy. Cups is a smaller unit of measurement. But there are four cups in one quart. So if we have four cups, that means we have a quart. All right. We have to get these back to headquarters. What? Never mind. Let's go. What's up with all the mirrors? I'm hiding them from Miss O. The seriously weird things have gotten weirder, and if she sees herself, things are gonna get real crazy. Good news. We have the giraffe milk. Let's pour it into the container. Okay. Three quarts down, one to go. What's the final ingredient? It's a very rare liquid. Water. But water isn't rare. Here's a map. There's a cave with a dragon inside. Dr. O, there's a water cooler right there. How long has that been there? Uh, always. Will that freeze up my Mondays? One gallon exactly. But now what do we do with it? Do with what? Ah! What is with you guys today? Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Is that no, 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 What are you doing? When you got sprayed by that plant, some seriously weird things were happening to your face, but you're better now. Oh, cool. Thanks. Phew, that was close. Oh, yeah. So, back to the ogre.
and welcome to the annual gadget repair and or tune-up day. <laughs> I'm so excited. I made a sign and everything. What is this exactly? It's about the long version or the short version? Short. short. You give me your broken stuff and I fix it. Oh, good. Here's my shrinkinator. My girl backinator. Freeze rayinator. And heat zappinator. I drop things a lot. Olive, Otto, something very odd has happened. Hand me your remote, Oscar. Uh, sure, just uh, put your name on the sign-out sheet. <sighs> uh, you know what, you know, forget it. Just, uh, here you go. <laughs> it happened at Mr. Hugenstorp's 60th birthday party. <laughs> here it comes. Someone stole some of my candles. I had a wish ready and everything. Mr. H is very upset. Sure, he, he's 60. Hey, what's that weird mark on the trash can? It can't be. What is it, Miss O? I've seen that mark before, back when I was an agent. You're off the case, and I'm on it. So you're going to catch the bad guy alone? Not alone. It's time I paid a visit to my old partner, O'Donohue. Dun, dun, dun. What do you want, Oprah? O'Donohue, I need your help. You know I hung up my badge for this fishing pole 30 years ago. Will this change your mind? She's back. Struck a B-Day party this morning. Mr. Hugensdorf started with 60 candles and ended up with just eight. I'm not saying I'm interested, but if I was, how many candles is that exactly? I've broken them into groups of 10. Five groups are gone, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 candles, plus two from the last group, which means he stole 52. Do you even know where he is or what he looks like? Is he even a he? Then we're no better off than we were all those years ago, Oprah. This villain is the reason I quit the squad. <sighs> I can't go back down that road again. I can't catch him without you. Will you put your suit on one last time? for me? I never took it off. Go for Oprah and O'Donoghue. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But so, the villain struck again at the town bakery. Thanks, Olive. And tell Otto to get out of my chair. How did you know I'm in a chair? So, did you catch anything in the last 30 years? Not a thing. <laughs> Odd Squad Odd Report. Greetings, agents. I'm Oscar with today's Odd Report. O'Connor? Coming at you! As you can see, we have a salsa friend moving in from this way. Too bad it's not a little lower because it's gonna miss these giant tortilla chips down here. That would have been delicious. Also, we know it's going to be bringing cats and dogs. The good news is we know exactly how many animals are coming our way. O'Connor, if you could zoom in. Zoom in! Perfect. So, each one of these big dog clouds bring exactly 10 dogs each. So instead of having to count every individual big dog, we can just count the clouds by 10. 10, woof. 20, woof. 30, woof. Big dogs. Yeah! And these small dog clouds bring exactly five dogs each, so we can count by fives. Five, woof! 10, woof! 15, woof! 20, woof! Small dogs. Yeah! And these cat clouds bring exactly two cats each, so we count by twos. Two, meow! Four, meow! Six, meow! Eight, <laughs> Yeah, cats! So to sum it all up, we're asking all available agents to come to this spot with your dog and cat catchinators to catch the 30 big dogs, woof. 20 small dogs, woof. And eight cats, meow. Wrap it up. Also, if any agents would like to take any of these animals home as pets, that would be great. See, I would, but I still got my hands full from last week's bunny storm. I named them all Oscar Jr. <laughs> that one's my favorite. 
past each challenge. Except one. Gadget identification. Easy. That's the Puddinginator. How'd you know? Because it does this. My partner! Final challenge. Figure out which of these gadgets is the un pudding -nator. Math room? Generating images. But I've never seen an un pudding before. A hint. Yep, just, just take it off oh. my head. The gadget to turn him back has two less buttons than the pudding -inator. Also, I am an excellent dancer. It's true. Okay, break it down into steps. I'm looking for the gadget to turn the auto back. And I know, a Fusco can dance. Woohoo! Still going! <clears throat> Which is info I don't need. I also know, the gadget has two less buttons than the pudding eater. How many buttons does that have? One, two, three, four. Okay, so if I'm looking for two less, that's subtraction. So four buttons minus two buttons is two buttons. That one. Correcto. I'm coming for you, partner. You did it, Olu! But, like a candle on the moon, you were too slow. But you never said if we were being timed. Be that as it may, Odd Squad agents, you are not. But we did exactly as you asked. We did everything. Nope. As my flamingo friends would say. <laughs> Goodbye. music and danced like we were young again. That's when I decided the shutoff code is one, two, three. Oh, this guy. Okay, so it was 2.30, 1983, and he had six kangaroos, and then they played salsa music. Oh, and then stop. He went, but we need to save him. Yes, you do. We can. At the very end, Afuso said the shutoff code is one, two, three. That's all the information we need to know. The rest is Afuso. Okay. Oh, something just bit me. Help! One, two, three. Where'd he go? I don't know, I can't see him. Oh. Thank you, my wisdom horses. I have only one thing to say. You pass. Once we ignored Agent Afusco's useless information, it wasn't so hard. Your new badges. Thanks, Maso. And thank you, Abisco. You are a man of many flowers and few raccoons. Don't make me cry. Very nice. Now, what are you standing around for? Go fix something on! On it, Maso. By the way, is it weird that I miss being pudding? Yes. Agents, if you got time between cases, make sure you visit the Odd Squad break room. It features lots of odd foods, like bagels with no holes, soupsicles, and you won't be able to get enough of our invisible pizza. Delicious. Uh, <laughs> this reminds me of that one time I lost an invisible tiger. Oh! Wait, he's over here! There's no need to go back for seconds, thanks to the zero nader located in the condiments tray. As you can see, this agent is dining on one head of lettuce. You can see the one in the one's place. But with a push of a button, 
a zero appears in the one's place, and the one gets moved to the tens place, making 10 heads of lettuce. And with another zap, you can add yet another zero. Now there's a zero in the one's place, a zero in the tens place, and the one in the hundreds place, which is the number 100. Wow. Now at first, this might seem like too much lettuce for one person. But what you don't know is, this agent has 100 stomachs. Bon appetit.